Hello and welcome to Plan B, a podcast about all the latest news and updates related to citizenship by investment by CS Global Partners, a London headquartered legal government advisory and marketing firm. My name is Aisha Mohammed and I'm your host. Today we're going to discuss the benefits that can be obtained by a person who successfully applies for citizenship by investment in the Caribbean and in particular in St. Kitts and Nevis and Dominica. As discussed in our last episode, as an increasing number of nations react to the COVID-19 pandemic by closing their borders to almost everyone except citizens, investors across the globe have even more reason to realize the value of second citizenship as a plan B against even the most unexpected of crises. On our show today, we have Arian Andoni, the manager of the legal and compliance team who has worked at CS Global Partners' London office for four years. Hi Arian, welcome to Plan B. How are you doing today? I am well, thank you. Thank you for joining our podcast from home today. So without further ado, let us get started. What would you say are some of the major benefits of attaining a second citizenship in St. Kitts and Nevis? There are a number of benefits associated with obtaining citizenship of St. Kitts and Nevis. It is useful to separate these in two groups, processing benefits and the benefits obtained upon receipt of citizenship. The main processing benefits we see in St. Kitts and Nevis are the benefits of legacy. The St. Kitts and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program has been in existence for over 30 years and it is well established. This means the St. Kitts and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Unit is highly experienced, efficient and responsive. The unit has seen myriad family scenarios, knows how to deal with each situation and does so quickly. Applicants can expect an answer to their application in three months or they can choose to pay for St. Kitts and Nevis accelerated application process, which hastens the process to 60 days. St. Kitts and Nevis is the only CBI jurisdiction in the world to offer an accelerated application process. The most notable benefits obtained upon receipt of dual citizenship are the ability to live and work in St. Kitts and Nevis, the ability to hold dual citizenship, and the ability to pass citizenship down to the next generation. Another significant benefit are the extensive visa-free travel options available with access to over 150 countries. So how about Dominica? Are the advantages of obtaining a second citizenship overall similar to those of St. Kitts and Nevis? What are some of the differences? There are some similarities to St. Kitts and Nevis. For instance, Dominica also has a very long history of running a citizenship by investment program. And its citizenship by investment unit is also one of the fastest and most efficient. One of the main differences is the real estate investment option. Dominica has a limited number of real estate options that have been pre-approved by the government for the citizenship by investment program. There are pros and cons to this. The obvious pro is that more investment is received by each real estate project, ensuring there is a greater chance of project success and therefore return on the investment. The con is fewer choices for the investor. In Dominica, you must choose between a short list of eco-friendly luxury resorts. One of the main benefits of second citizenship in the Caribbean and a major attraction for investors of CBI has always been the visa-free and visa on arrival advantages of holding a St. Kitts and Nevis or Dominica passport. Passports issued by St. Kitts and Nevis in Dominica allow entrance into the world's biggest business hubs like Singapore, Dubai and the Schengen area. However, given the current situation, physical mobility seems quite impossible. How do you think CBI's travel advantage can still be beneficial for investors in a time with so many travel bans and lockdowns? The current COVID-19 crisis is a temporary one. Global mobility will remain highly important in the long term. 
Additionally, why short-term visa free travel might be limited in this time of crisis, it is important to remember that citizens are able to travel to their country of citizenship. Recently, both St. Kitts and Nevis and Dominica announced that they would be accepting online submissions. What does this mean for investors? This means that they can prepare copies of the documents they need to present in order to obtain citizenship and send them to the unit so that the application processing can begin. In other words, the unit will be able to initiate the due diligence process. However, it is important to note that approvals in principle will not be issued until all physical documents are received by the unit. This is because the unit needs to make sure that documents are either originals or true copies certified by a notary. These copies need to have a number of stamps, including a notarial stamp, a legalization stamp, commonly in the form of an apostille. Have you found clients have been expressing anxiety with respect to CBI now that many businesses are suffering and the global economy has partially come to a halt? Many investments have become insecure in this time of crisis. However, citizenship by investment continues to be a solid investment because if you are an applicant who raises no due diligence concerns and you make the minimum investment required by law, you are certain to make a return on your investment and obtain the second citizenship you want. And in your expert opinion, what would you say to those on the fence about making the investment towards CBI? The name of this podcast is a strong reminder of what makes CBI so crucial, which is a useful and reliable plan B. You never know what the future might hold, but it's certainly best to be as prepared as possible for all eventualities and have a solid plan B in place. Thank you so much, Arian, for joining us today. We appreciate all your insight greatly. Next week, we'll be back with another episode detailing the benefits of second citizenship for small island nations. If you have any questions about CBI or would like to find out more, please visit www.csglobalpartners.com. Thank you for listening and stay safe. Audio jump.